Let's look at how to compare class objects to see if they're the same. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a class. So it creates class item. And this class item is going to have a couple of variables I can then compare. So I'll make a private, let's say do a string, call this name, and we'll have an int ID, and we'll make some public methods. So first of all, I'm going to have a constructor, and this one will take a name. Name and an ID. And it'll go ahead and set these values of so this name equals name. Now we have the constructor done. The next thing to do is we want to maybe have a string that We'll display our values so we can see it. So to string, just so we can see what's inside of this because everything is private. So I guess I'll make a, uh, let's go ahead and add a include an S stream. And that way I can easily put things together. So I'll make an S stream or a string stream. We'll call it my out string. And so I'll just put some stuff into this out string. So let's put the this name and we'll put a space. And then we'll put in this ID. And that's pretty good. And then we just return that. But we'll return as a string. All right, so this is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of objects or a couple of items. So I got item. We'll call it item one and item one, I'll call this an apple and I'll give it a value of 10 and then item, item two, I'm going to go ahead and call this a banana and give it an I, a value or an ID of 20. So now if I wanted to compare these, I could say, well, let's go ahead and put this thing in here and say item one equals item two and then it has this squiggly thing that says that it can't compare items and items and so I say well how can I do that well now I'm gonna write a overloaded equals operator so I'll type in bool right here operator equals and then I'm going to receive in this operator as the variable, the second parameter right here. So item two, the first one is this because it's already inside. And the second one is this second item. So I'm going to receive that as a const item reference. So, and I'll go right hand side. So this is the right hand side of the comparison operation. So what's happening is this item, item one is being called it's equal operator is being called with item two as the parameter as the right hand side parameter. So now I can compare individual pieces and decide how I want to decide if they're equal. I can decide they're equal based on their ID numbers, or I can do it based on their names, or I can do both. So here are some options. I can say return this name equals right hand side dot name. And that would be just the names. Or 
I could do something more complex and put both of them in there. So I'll say, we'll do and this ID equals right hand side dot ID. That would mean they both have to match. So if I run this now, because apple doesn't match banana and ID 10 doesn't match 20, it will say they don't match. So I'll run this and that will come out with a zero, which is false. If I were to change it to apple right here and change this one over here, well, I'll leave this one here, first of all, and run it, it'll still say that they are not the same. And I can change both the ID and the name and run it. And then it come out with one saying that they are, well, the same. So you can see how to write your equals or your operator here to compare and make sure that they are exactly the same. All you need to do is just use some code in here to figure it out and then return either a true or false to indicate whether they're actually equal. And this is how you write a comparison method for class items or objects to make sure they are the same.